Hello, Forest Tales. Tammy Humphreys here with your Thursday Daily Spiritual Check-In. Today, our Lenten reading comes from the 15th chapter of John, starting with verse 1. Before I get into that, I want to just recap what we're reading here. This is the Last Supper Jesus is having with his disciples before his arrest, trial, and crucifixion. Jesus knows these things are about to happen, so he sits the disciples down, and as you can imagine, is probably telling them the things that he really, really, really wants them to remember in spite of everything that's about to happen. And he tells them later on that the Holy Spirit will help them remember these things later on, and he knows it's after he ascends into heaven. So keeping that in mind, we know that these things are something that not only Jesus wants to make sure that his followers know, but also the author, John, one of Jesus' disciples, also wants to make sure that all Jesus' followers really, really, really remember these things. So let's start reading. Chapter 15, verse 1. I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. While every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. But apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he is like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up and thrown into the fire and burned. But if you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be given to you. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you obey my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have obeyed my Father's commands and remain in His love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. My command is this. Love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this that he lay down his life for his friends. And you are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends for everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and anointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Then the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. This is my command, love each other. Did you hear that? In just that short little passage, Jesus says twice, this is my command, love each other. In fact, he says that in chapters 13, 14, and 15, just those three chapters, he says the same thing or expresses the same concept 12 different times. And he starts that process by showing the disciples what he means by this and what this love looks like by humbling himself, putting on a towel, and washing their feet at dinner. And he tells them, I'm doing this as an example for you. And he goes on and says again and again that there's this connection between obeying him, obeying his command, and being loved by him or loving him 
that if we want to express our love to Jesus, we have to obey what he says. And what does he say? Well, at least 12 times he says, love each other. So I think that's the point. In fact, in John 14, he tells us that if we love him and obey his command, that he will ask the Father to send the spirit of truth. You know, one of the things that's been troubling me lately is that there is so much information in the world about so many things that seem to be life and death, that it's hard to know what the truth is. But here Jesus says, if you want the spirit of truth, do what I say and love each other. So, brothers and sisters, I think if we want to receive the counselor, if we want to have the spirit of truth, if we want to have Jesus' spirit of peace and of joy, complete joy, we must love each other. And that is our challenge as we go forward if we call ourselves Christ followers. I wanted to let you know that in the description below, I'm posting a link to one way that you can show your love for others by volunteering for our upcoming food giveaway that we will be doing on Monday, April 12th. The giveaway will start at 11 a.m., but we're asking volunteers to start at 8 a.m. So if you want more information, click on the link below or contact the church office. We would love to have you join us. And if you can pray for us, we ask you to do that as well. God bless you. We look forward to seeing you this weekend. And remember, love each other. God bless.